Welcome to another video from the farm. Today we're back on working on the bus. So since the last video on the bus project, when we moved it into this position, we've now got it all up on nice wood blocks. We have all four jacking points up on some sleepers. So now we're free to work away on the bus with it perfectly level. It is very nice to be able to walk in here on a nice flat surface finally. So today we're going to be taking out all this matting and the floorboards underneath. the screws out, I'm just going to leave the boards down while I take out the old sliding door uh, unit and the heaters and I can rip this wooden floor up so we can get the new floor laid. taking out all the fiberglass off of the staircase just peel this back to see what we're working with and it's thick steel on the inside um, so that'll be good to attach to and taking this off will maximize all the space in here for the dining booth because a lot of dead space behind there
nice and open now we've got the floor off. So we hope all of you that have been following us to see the progress of our double decker bus conversion. Finally happy we've got some movement. So we're getting real close now, we've almost got it fully stripped out. We've only got these little old door opening mechanisms over there, a couple of heaters left, and then a section of this floor to take out. So then, the bus is looking vastly different now. As you can see, we've absolutely gone in on gutting this thing. Obviously the big major difference is, yeah, we've whipped out the entire second floor. Now we've done that, as Stu said, so we can drop this down six inches and then we can make the floor level pretty much the same in both of these. So we've got a nice even height to be walking around in. Now, as you can hear, this weather has got insane. That's it, get the doors closed, Chris. So that's why we've got all this stuff inside at the minute. But as you can see, fuel tank's gone. Driver's seat's gone. Almost got this wheel arch out. And then pretty much every other bit of metal upstairs has gone now too. So we're pretty much there, ready to start framing this up. So if you've got any thoughts about how we're getting on so far, I guess you'll have never seen a double-decker bus completely stripped out like this, so don't forget to give it a like if you've enjoyed it. Also, let us know any comments you've got, any ideas you might have for putting in a second floor for this. We were thinking just box steel, but if you've got a better idea, let us know. So some good hard work from Stu and Chris today. I think we'll wrap the video up here. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>